I'm back. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about why you might not be making progress. This is actually kind of a, a big deal, but it's a really simple thing and it's something that, um, you know, once you kind of get a handle on, on how you are and, and have that self-awareness for, for your own style, the, your own way of, of being and your own way of working towards a goal, once you have that understanding, it can make it a lot easier, but it also really highlights the need for support. So, um, you know, as we're working towards something, we need to have both big picture vision and baby step focus. So as we are working towards something, we need to be really, really clear on what it is that we're going for, you know, be really, really clear on what the end game is, what it is that we're desiring, and be able to really be able to see it and feel it and know what it feels like when we're going to get that. But at the same time, on a day-to-day -day basis, as we're moving forward, we need to have baby step focus. So it's like the, the paradox of having both of those at the same time, getting really, really clear on what it is that you want and where you're going, but then being able to keep to task, you know, day in and day out as you're working towards that. Because of course, that's a bit of a timeline, you know, especially if you've got really big goals and things that you're wanting to accomplish and achieve in your life, or if you're feeling like, you know, your ideal self, you know, you at your best is maybe, you know, a few months out, you know, you might feel like you really have a lot of work to do and a lot of things that you want to work on and, and improve on and get better at. So that's where coaching really comes in because, you know, when it comes to each of us as individuals, we're usually only good at one or the other. We're usually, if you've ever taken a Myers-Briggs personality test, you're either a J or a P. You're either someone who is really, really good at the big picture, at, at you know coming up with great ideas, or you're someone that's really detail-oriented and able to stay the task. But in order to really get great success, you kind of need a little bit of both. So that's where relying on a coach can be really, really helpful. Relying on someone that can help you both get clear and, and get so dialed into where you're going and have that that vision because of course there's so many distractions that are going on in our day-to-day -day lives and as we are working towards that end game we need to make sure that each day we're doing the things that need to be done to get there and of course if we're easily distracted or if there's a lot going on if we're not clear about where we're going it can that can be the big reason that you're feeling like you're not making progress um, you know, so it's a combination of two things it's potentially not being clear on what it is that you really, really want, uh, down to the detail, or it might be not, hi Tamara, it might be not being able to, you know, take those steps and know the steps that you need to take so that you will eventually get where it is that you're wanting to go. So it's just something to think about within yourself, you know, kind of get clear on what it is that you're good at, build in that self-awareness of, of really where you shine, and then seek support for the other thing. So it could be that you need help with your clarity on what it is that you want. A lot of times when, you know, we've been stuck in a place of not really knowing, it can be hard to envision what things could be like. And so having that support and having someone sit down with you and and really go through what it is that you're wanting to create and and really ask you those questions. Hi Ashton ask you those questions that can really help you get more clear and and really look forward you know what is what do things look like six months from now what do things look like 12 months from now if you're maintaining that baby step focus day in and day out so you might need support with that you might need support with the clarity or you know you might be totally clear on what it is that you want but it's how do you remain focused how do you stay on task how do you eliminate distractions how do you focus on the things that are going to do good for you, uh, you know, the things that are going to get you where you're wanting to go? How do you set up boundaries in your life? How do you set up your life in general so that you are, you know, slowly but surely working towards that, that end game that's, you know, maybe six to 12 months out? So it's just something to think about, something to really look within and kind of get clear on what it is that you're really good at because it's more likely than not that you're gonna need support in the opposite, right? So it's either, are you good at the big picture? Are you good at the details? To get somewhere, you need both. 
really. Um, and, and so more often than not, that's why coaching is such a important part of our, our lives right now. There's coaches everywhere. There's so many people that are, are stepping into this role because it's something that is needed. You know, we, we need support to achieve what we want, especially because of all of the distractions in the world, all of the things that need to get done, you know, just, just so that we're, you know, surviving, we're feeding our children, you know, all of the things that need to happen, but then also the things that we want to be doing that are going to be slowly but surely working towards this end goal that we have. I just want to read your comment, Mira. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, I think when we've got a lot going on, it can, it can kind of cloud our vision and it can cloud what it is that we want, right? So sometimes we need to take a little bit of a step back and really, I mean, that's where journaling is really, really good. You know, getting into nature, getting somewhere where you can just start to, you know, take a look at each of these things, each of these things that, that you might have going on in your life um, and start to evaluate and really get clear on, you know, are the things that you're doing contributing or are they conducive to where it is that you're wanting to go so you know we can we, we shift we evolve as, as who we are um, you know especially as we're growing and learning and and so sometimes we you know can end up needing to maybe let some things go and that can be hard as well right so it's just really um, you know evaluating making sure that the things that you're doing right now are also conducive to to what it is that you're wanting for your life and, you know, I think, I think that, you know, just as long as you're throughout, I mean, I think one of the most important things is incorporating the baby step focus into the baby step focus is making sure that you're doing those self care practices that allow you that space to, to really be, um, you know, tuned in within so that you know, you know, how you're feeling and what it is that you're wanting you're making sure that your needs are being met and you make sure that you know you're working towards this so it's it's like um having a, an overall approach of where you know you're continually checking in with your vision checking in with what it is that you want and then focusing in on the day-to-day -day and what needs to be done so yeah there's there's a balance of that it's i guess a little bit of that yin and yang of of really knowing um, that you're you're complete in, in what it is that you're doing and that you're complete in where it is that you're wanting to go. So I hope that that's really helpful. I just wanted to share a little bit more about this specific thing because really we're usually better at one or the other, at the big picture or at the details, and just offer that, you know, if you are finding that you're needing support in one or both of these areas, this is something that coaching is really, really beneficial for, you know, for you to be able to sit down with someone that can help you, that's, you know, cheering you on, that gets you, that gets your vision, and that is there for you throughout the course of that time. I mean, this is something that I think because of this thing that we're only usually good at one or the other, you know, it's really, it just makes it that much more challenging if we're trying to go it alone. So any of you are watching and wanting to chat a little bit more about what that might look like for you with where it is that you're wanting to go, just comment below or send me a private message and we can chat about that. We can set up a free clarity session and we can talk about what that might look like for you. I would love to help support you in your big picture vision and helping you take the steps to get there along the way. That's ultimately what I'm here for. So hi Kayla. All right. Lots of love to all of you and I will be back again soon. Bye.